All right, good morning. Today's my first day back at college. Guess you could say this is the start of my sophomore year. We don't really refer to freshmen and sophomores because I go to community college, but <laughs> technically I am, I guess, a sophomore. But last night for the first time ever, I couldn't sleep because I was so excited about school. I don't know why. I think it's just uh, don't know what to expect, new people. The locations aren't different, but I think it's gonna be a pretty interesting school year compared to this time last year. Things are completely different. So, and because it's my last year of going to college, I think it's kind of bittersweet for me. So, kind of just enjoying the whole process. But now, about to eat breakfast. Oh, screw it. I'll get it when I come back. Alright. After so many delays, taking longer than I should have to pack my gym clothes so I can go straight from school straight to the gym because I passed by it. We're now on our way to school. My mom hid my water bottle. So I had to find a new one, which took more time than I should have probably. But it's alright. We are only five minutes late, so we'll see what happens. And guess what, it's raining. All right, look at this. It's definitely one of those days. My GoPro freaking froze. <sighs> it's one of those days today, man. And the parking here is so bad. Like, I thought last semester was bad. This semester is way worse. They even made more parking and it's raining. So we're about to uh, get this on and uh, enjoy the first day because I got a journey to Mecca to make from here to my class, so. It's about to be a lot of fun. Wish me luck. Really the fastest school day ever. One class. I literally spend more time driving here than I do at the campus because I go between two campuses. And so I spend like 40 minutes driving there and 40 minutes back versus the campus that's close to me that I go there on Tuesdays and Thursdays for is only 20 minutes but I'm there for like six hours. So that was an easy class tape. So much freaking cars and everything. Like I've been used to this in a while. So now we're about to head to the gym. Still here, 10 minutes later, have not moved much at all.
now. Got a great pump little session in there. Didn't get to do the shoulders, but got the arms in. I love being able to go to the gym during the school year. Last semester, I had so many classes back to back, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I just couldn't really make it out to the gym at the times that I really like to work out at. So I just didn't really work out only on Tuesdays and Thursdays and that wasn't long enough. So now that my schedule, I'm gonna go over my schedule later on, but my schedule allows me to work out at the times that I like and get a good workout session in three days a week at least. So looking forward to that. But now headed home in this ugly rainy weather. All right, so just did some work on here for an online class and the GoPro is still on. I charged it and it froze. I'm trying to take the battery out and guess what happened? There's usually like a little thing you could pull and the battery comes out, but it came off. And so I have a little tweezers to pull it off, will not do it. And I saw this YouTube video where you can like shake it like this, but nothing happens because it's like stuck in there. <sighs> but GoPro, come on now. Your tabs cannot come off that easy. You should not, you should be pulled off the battery and it coming off, not the little piece of paper now it's jammed into there. Spoke to GoPro about it and their customer experience is horrible, I'm trying to send them a picture of it. And it only works in a JPEG and I converted to JPEG and still won't work, still won't recognize the file. And it's just horrible experience by GoPro. You all gotta get that right. Hate to complain, but this should not be a, what it is now. This should not be a mess. And it is. And I'm aggravated. But, oh well, enough of that rant. Just finished this book, The Power of Broke by Damon John. It's my seventh book I've read this year, which you should be reading books. I don't, I don't only do like 10 pages a day, but I love my self-development time because I just sit back, read books about business or self-development, whatever, self-help. And uh, I get a lot of value out of it and I just really enjoy it. So now, just finish that and add it to the book collection. If you know me, the next book I'm reading is this, Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk. And this is a book that I'm very excited to read. And uh, one day I'm trying to get this book signed. Don't know if it'll happen, but I'm gonna try my best to get Gary to sign this book. But I'm looking forward to reading this tomorrow. So I thought I would go over my schedule for this upcoming semester, which is pretty good. The schedule for the semester for me is Monday, Wednesday, Friday is the same as today. One class, but it's in Knoxville, it's 40 minutes drive, 40 minutes back, but it's one class and it's only 50, 55 minutes, but just nothing. It's not a long class at all. So my Monday, Wednesday, Friday is super easy. And then I do my online marketing class, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, in between that slots. And then Tuesday, Thursday is when my days are longer and I have three classes and they're all from like 9, 10 through 145, which is a pretty long day, but I'd rather have it that day because it's just Tuesday, Thursday. It's not Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it's Tuesday, Thursday. Longer periods, but shorter frequencies. So I thought that made sense to do it like that, but that's basically my schedule for the semester. And last semester I got so burned out because I had three back-to-back -back classes in the same classroom, which was a lot, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I started to get burnt out. And so this semester, how I've set up my schedule, I don't think I will get burnt out, but I'm pretty excited. So tomorrow will be a completely different day than today. So every day is different, which has its good and bad parts to it, but I guess that's what you get. All right, so I just posted some LinkedIn content. Um, don't be sleeping on LinkedIn, by the way. I know I'm in a marketing class or whatever, but I did some marketing for my internship and I've realized there's certain apps that uh, people are sleeping on right now, like TikTok and LinkedIn. And I've been experimenting with LinkedIn doing like, when I was in my internship, I was doing pieces of content every day about things that I learned as an intern. And uh, I think we're sleeping on LinkedIn a lot because I would, I'd create a post or whatever use a few hashtags and I don't have many connections on LinkedIn. I have like maybe 25, 26, it's tiny, but I would be getting like 60, 70 views, like of organic reach 
not paid or anything like that. So I think even though LinkedIn's more of the corporate side to it, if there's like a business or you want to document a journey or whatever, that's a good way to make pieces of content on there and grow your LinkedIn because LinkedIn's very underrated right now. I mean, I was like, ah, I don't know if I'll really care about LinkedIn, but it's very interesting social media and it's growing crazy rates. It's easy to get true, true organic reach like Instagram. You may have 900 followers and you create a post and only reaches 300 of them. LinkedIn reaches most of your connections and even more. So try that out, but let me know what you think. But I just want to conclude my vlog right here. It is currently 9.09 p.m. A bit of an early class tomorrow at 9.10. So I think I'm just going to wrap the vlog up right here and uh, get ready for bed soon. But I do want to say thank you for watching this vlog. I know it's probably all over the place. I haven't done an actual vlog in a while and I have a lot more content videos stored up. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any ideas or suggestions on videos that you want me to do for college that relate to it because I'm not in college that much longer. So I'm looking for ideas. I'm wanting to create more content and post more often a little bit, especially in college. It's kind of easy to do it because you have Bit of free time and for me monday wednesday friday having one class two classes one online one physical class i got a little bit of spare time there to make some content to do some youtube videos so drop me some ideas if you want to see any school content ideas things like that let me know i just want to wrap this up by saying thank you for watching this vlog this video like i said more content on the way soon and uh i'm trying to get better at this stuff i'm not the best especially the freaking camera, the GoPro. I use my phone and I use this GoPro right here, which is turned on right now. I'm trying to flip some things on eBay, sell things that I don't use to get enough money to get a pretty decent camera like the Sony RX100 or the a Sony A6400 or the Canon M50. Right now I'm just kind of rambling, which I shouldn't be. I'm gonna end the vlog right here. If you enjoyed this vlog, smash that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithms and I really do appreciate that. Uh, I just want to say thank you for watching this video and uh, I'll see you in the next video.